going on, peoples? Welcome to the podcast. I got a very special guest with me today. My boy Joker, former teammate. He brought KWAC and CP to the league. He currently still plays for the Animals, and he has a lot to get out of his chest. My boy Joker. Introduce yourself, my boy. What's going on, man? It's Joker. You know what I'm saying? Been in this shit. Oh, man. 16 years now. I think it's been since 08. So we're going on 15th season. It's crazy. Right now, I currently play for the Animals, Captain, Tight End, whatever else you need. You know? I jump straight into it with him, man. CP on The Price is Right has something to say about uh, Wolfpack and how they left and what was going on. And Joker didn't take that lightly. So, you know, of course, I went and got my, my cap and shit so I could put this on while we. While we doing this thing, you know what I mean? I, I couldn't find my real blue cats. I got my little umpire cap with the little beak. The little niggas and shit, but. For the slow motherfuckers, he's doing that because he says CP capping. Just making sure because some of your motherfuckers be slow. Look, I'm I'm going to be 100% honest. Niggas don't, you don't really hear shit from me on these boards, man. I let niggas talk. I'll talk to you in person. And I'll tell you what I need to tell you. And that's how I've always handled my business. You know, back in the day, town beef boards and shit, we'll go back and forth on that. It's a lot different now. But I've been watching, peeking on these lives, and niggas get on these lives, and they they try to rewrite history with false narratives and shit. And the thing that got me into it was when CP come up, and he started talking about the Wolfpack. And he started saying things that's not true. First thing that's not true is how we actually uh, basically dissolved, right? So he tries to say niggas wasn't recruiting, niggas wasn't doing this. It's not the case, man. And I'll jump into that first is, so Wolfpack had our season. You know, we came in rookies. We missed the playoffs by a game. We actually had to play in with the punishers. We lost by one. Um, after that game, I'm not I'm not a dummy, bro. I'm really smart when it comes to this shit. So the first thing I thought is these niggas is young. They good. The only niggas that we didn't have that these niggas know is on the Warriors. I don't know if you remember the Warriors. Warriors black and gold team. Oh, boy, Tony used to run. See, uh, Corey used to play over there. They had Molly. They had Jotty. And they had um, Keith Morrison, the receiver. So I told Rich, I said, listen, these dudes, they're going to get, niggas going to try to recruit them. So I, I think the best thing we can do is get the rest of their homies over here. Bro, Wolfpack would have been Elizabeth made, bro. Like full Elizabeth heads. Kyle would have messed around and joined that. Kyle would. That's all if, ands, and buts stuff that didn't happen. But, hmm. And this should have this worked. We got in the chat. Um, it was me, K-Wac, and, and Richie, and then it was lead people from the Warriors. This close, bro. This close to finishing off. Corey jumps in the chat, talks about, nah, we're not merging, blah, blah, blah. Shut the whole shit down. Just killed the whole shit. Tony was just there, bro. He was ready to go. We couldn't decide on which name we was going to take. That's always the case. And shit fell apart. After that, we started going back and forth. Richie felt like niggas was being... Bitches. So he said, yo, Joker, man, I'm not doing this shit. These niggas is divas. I'm out. Richie left, went to the BIC. Next thing you know, and a message from k -Wack. Hey, look, man, I'm going to go over to BIC, blah, 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 respectfully. Fun fact, me and k -Wack had a conversation during the All-Star game. Low-key talked him into joining BIC. Said, listen, I'm going to take Debo, and, and he did the name Jamie originally, right? So what the fuck I'm going to do? I said, all right, man, it is what it is. Chapter open, chapter closed. It's done and done. So, you know, we started. I moved on. I went to another team. I could have went at the time to BIC. I just, I'm just one of those old dogs. Where I'm like, bro, I want to beat these dudes. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I want to beat them. I want to beat the U. And I was just like, nah, let's just go a different way. I think after that, I went to the animals. But that's how we really dissolved. It wasn't no, it says nobody communicated. So I just like, nah, it wasn't like that, bro. It was, if we try something, it ain't work. Niggas dip, you know what I'm saying? And and to be honest with you, it was really KY Debo and and then Jamie. I mean, even, even if you look at the original and you was there for the BIC team, nigga didn't even start. He was playing special teams. Talking about CP. Yep, CP did come to BIC as a cornerback. So it's like you left to play specials, and that's what you was doing until Fitz got hurt. And, the, and you know, if we can toss it up and down, that team was primed to win a chip. Prime, bro. And if if Fitz don't get hurt, we might not even know what, what CP can actually do. Because, I mean, even after he won the chip with the next season, he got benched for Corey. Technically, he didn't get benched for Corey. 
Corey was just supposed to start that game and be more. And was going to go back to CP. That's a whole different story. So it's like when you get on these lives, it's it's cool. We start off like, all right, let's talk about what happened last week. Let's talk about what happened this week. And then you go into talking about yourself and then talk about everybody else's relevancy. That shit is trash, bro. Niggas use platforms the wrong way. And after that, I really don't want to use it the way that I complain about niggas using it, where they take it. They try to attack people and niggas don't say shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas are hop on, but niggas not paying attention. Black, Jair, niggas in the, or trying to build the team, they're not paying attention. So when niggas hear the same person saying the same thing, whether it's true or not, they'll start to believe it because nobody's saying anything. So I really felt like I had to say some shit like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. You really don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you're not a, a fucking historian. Like, you came in doing A7. You don't know how the shit was rocking before you got here. So don't talk and you watching videos and then you're saying shit and niggas is correcting you and you like, you know what I'm saying? Like the snow shit. Yeah, it was a snow game, right? It was like, nah, it wasn't no snow game. Well, it was snow on the ground. Nah, fuck out of here, bro. You don't know. And it's okay to not know. But when it comes, I'm going to touch base on this. When it comes to relevancy, it's, it's, it's optional, right? Like when I go to the field, niggas know who I am. Maybe not these younger niggas, but the relevancy for you, CP, is you continue to do the prices right because your relevancy is gone. And that's a fact. Like, everybody's going to remember you. If you stop playing right now, like you said, they're going to remember you for setting the Renegades back three seasons. Coming out and getting blown out in the playoffs. That's the... Jeez, he going in right there, man. The last image they have of you. So it's like, don't come for people. And if you see me, you come talk to me. I'm not going to keep going back and forth on the boards. I mean, Facebook, when you, when you do it, right? It's about who got the more likes. I mean, I won. If you just go by Facebook, how these young niggas do, I got, a, what, 12 likes. Nigga, you had two. I think I won. So I'm good, man. I ain't got nothing else to say. You know what I'm saying? But on the real, I love that nigga. I love Debo, k Wack, Jamie. I got no ill malice towards none of them or anybody really in the league. But let's try to stay the facts and not try to create your own narrative for some shit. When this niggas that was here from the beginning to the end, that could say, no, nigga, that ain't, that, that's not that. And I am that person that would be like, bro. Nah, we ain't do that. The you versus the animals, Joker. Uh, look, I, you could go back and watch many animal you games or many you games versus anybody that they thought was a lesser opponent, and they completely destroy them. Taking niggas light is not something that the you do. It's, it's, I'm not gonna say it's an excuse, but when since when has there been a game where they beat somebody where they had to have so many reasons why they didn't beat them by more? You feel me? Like we was we worked at we worked in our benefit. And if you really know football, then you agree. If you don't, then it is what it is. Is we caught the U early, still trying to get chemistry, right? Huff is back. It's a lot of new players. Some niggas he played with on flag, but A7, it's a new spot. You feel what I'm saying? New line. You got snags, you got some newer receivers. It's A7. It's a little bit different. So I will say we caught them at a perfect time for them and for us because we got a bunch of players on our team that didn't know or understand what do you bring to the table. They came and they're like, yo, we're going to beat these niggas. And the confidence was so high that I was on the sideline like, yo, we got a fucking shot here. These niggas, they, they, they was not scared. We was watching film. People was picking up on things. We were seeing shit. And it reflected on the field, like, bro, we're not afraid of these niggas. And you've been here for a while, and maybe not you, but, you know, sometimes, you know, like when you go play the Bombers, I used to joke back in the day, and even now, niggas always catch the bomber flu when it's time to play the Bombers. Somehow you got a whole squad when you play a certain team, and then when you playing a top-tier team, Bombers, SWG, you know, you know what I mean, my mom, you know, back hurt, so I got to watch her. You know what I'm saying? Or niggas hit you up like, yo, I'll, niggas ask for a ride. We play at one. They ask for a ride at 12.55. Yo, I ain't got no ride. Anybody come pick me up? And it was none of that. Niggas came. We was ready. Um, We might have underprepared. But we came out and we played ball, man. And if you really look at the score, I mean, we didn't get – we got one stop the whole game, right? That's an testament to the use offense and maybe a little bit back on our defense. We're still trying to mesh it together. But, I mean, we was close, and then it went kick return for us, kick return for – oh, kick return for them. We got one back, then they came back up. Then we fumbled on the kick return. They scored. 
Then they threw the ball off, got the ball back, they scored again. That's when shit really got out of control. But, I mean, even if you put those together, we lost by three scores. A brand-new team losing to the number one seed by three scores, and it wasn't convincing. They had 66. I mean, if we would have kept with the double tight with two minutes left, we probably could have scored again and, and got 50. But it's it's – it's circumstantial. It's, it depends on how you look at it. We're not down on ourselves. We feel as though, like a lot of people do feel, is we had an opportunity here. We might have squandered it away, but we're gonna we we're gonna be fine, man. Our team is full of, as you see, they full of dogs. And I hit you up when we got a uh, Dave, and I said, bro, you were taking pictures of my boy. What does what, what he like? You know what I'm saying? And you said, bro, he's an animal. So, you know what I'm saying? It fit the mold, but like like Snow Tribe did. We didn't. I didn't want to put him in too early. We had a conversation. We were back and forth as the captains to figure out, and it ultimately turns into let's go with the vet, throw him in a little bit in the Renegades game, see what he got. Then when we got to the U game, when we got to the red zone, we felt as though we was in a position where we had to pass, and we thought it would work out in our benefit to have Dave come in and throw up a good pass. You know, playing the U, we might have uh, – maybe, maybe we made a mistake. Everybody's going to say we did, so we'll take it. But, you know, mistakes happen. It won't happen again. All in all, bro, I like the animals. They're moving the, towards the right direction. They lost Huff, but they gained another young quarterback, and they have a vet and a Bebo that could guide the young quarterback and teach him, you know, the ropes. To some of the players that left the animals, Joker has something to say. The people that left, you feel what I'm saying? And a lot of them ran on the lives and just tried to make sure they said their part before. It's... For me, you can go wherever you want, right? It is what it is, man. If you feel as though you have a better opportunity to go somewhere and play and make some team and make a team better, by all means. But if you're going somewhere to to ride the pine to get wins, it's like for what, man? You're wasting your youth sitting on the bench watching motherfuckers play. And we'll see them all. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's an intense, it's an intense game. We'll see who's playing and who's not playing. And it's like, why leave? I get it. Maybe nervous, care about what other people are saying. But we could have used the guys that left. Like, niggas wasn't bums. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could have used the people that left. But at the end of the day, we ended up using it, recruiting, recruiting a little bit better. And, you know, I feel like we got a better overall team, as everybody keeps saying. I do feel like we are more of a complete team. Um, Obviously, we don't got no huff. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, huff still... Huff did what he did. We kept, we caught the balls too. We ran. You know, Huff is an animal, bro. If you ask me, if you ask me, he's the greatest player to ever play. And it's one of those things where motherfuckers always go with when you talk about the goal, it's like, all right, it's even him and stereo or him and chick or him and Moo. A lot of people don't know spit or or ST. But when you think about it, when motherfuckers say, all right, well, what happens if he would have went to another team? He did it. He went to a team that was 0-8, and, and we were two minutes away from tying the game in Baltimore and possibly going to the championship game. I mean, how much more can you argue to go to not? Because it's always like, oh, if this person went here, would they make a difference? He literally did exactly that, succeeded, and he said, all right, you know what I'm saying? Tip the cap. Like, it, it, you can't say much more than that. He ain't on my Mount Rushmore yet, but – you know, I think I think he's the greatest, greatest in the greatest ever play in A seven for sure. In my podcast, man, you gonna speak your chest, speak your facts, speak your mind, keep it real, no bias. Like I ain't never gonna sit here and lie and say, you know, Corey was an ass player, or or anything like that. The nigga, he had it. Corey's only fault for me, and I know him because we played together. Is he doesn't call a good game. He doesn't know how to put plays together. Like, hey, look, I'm going to come back to this play and then I'm going to change it so it looks like this because it looks like it's the same play and I'm going to catch you and I'm going to make that move. It's just never been that. He's been on great teams and the times when he was actually great, I feel like some, you know, I know in the Wolfpack team where he made his bones, I called 90 to 95% of those plays. I love my boy CP to the max. He got me my first chip. But come to think about it, Peckin was calling our offense. If I think Peckin was calling our offense. The whole the whole season, you feel me? So it's I got no I got I got respect. You know, once you start talking about uh I come at you, da, da, I don't I don't deal with all that shit. We'll see each other, we'll talk, 
or we won't talk. It don't matter. But I'll be at the field. You'll be at the field. We play the Watchmen one day. You know, you're going to say what you got to say. I'm going to say what I got to say. We keep it moving. And that's another thing, too. I've seen it happen. You guys would kill lifelong friendship over A7. Come on. We love A7. We love football. We love the compet competitiveness. But let's not kill a friendship over a league, bro. My man Joker had more to say. The only time I feel as though he really called the plays was with the Savage, and they couldn't get over the hump because the play calling was not there. He had some amazing games with them. But, I mean, the Savage always had whoever played quarterback. I, I felt like that was the Savage's chance to get the hump, bro. When they got all of them, Debo and all of them, I'm like, okay, this is the – and niggas, you know, people blame – if you talk to people, they got different avenues on why they didn't win. Right, Should people try to blame the Miller brothers that saying they couldn't block or they couldn't pass block or run block. Management. Yo, know, it's about putting your people in positions to win. Like Snow Tribe, when we when we came up with the Snow Tribe formation, right? I had we had no quarterback. We started with four. Fit CJ was supposed to come. Uh, old boy from they used to play for BIC. Black kid. Uh, Jamal. Military dude. What's his name? Jamal. 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 Jamal was supposed to come the week before. Jamal's hurt. Fitz never showed up. CJ, we found out, was on the animals. And then we end up with a dude that's never played in the league before. Comes the week before we play the U, which is our first game. Get murked. Next game, get murked. Stop showing up. So me, in my head, I'm like, bro, our best players is Darius, Bo. They have two running backs. They can't throw worth the lick. Let's just get them niggas the ball. And, and give our best players the ball and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of people miss that shit. And, and, and it's about – it is about watching the game and, and, and showing somebody something and then and then showing them the same shit but doing something different. And I feel like that's the only thing that CP missed. And we realized that too again when he went to the Renegades. He called those plays. They didn't score. Uh, they, they, they scored. They didn't score the first Renegades game. But they scored in the playoff game, but they got blown out. They had a terrible game, bro. And I'm not – I don't shit on him because he he really not a quarterback. He was playing corner in Elizabeth. And that's another thing, too. We came out to see Polk, which is the DN. I used to play for the Wolfpack because he was coming from, from college. I think Richie found him. We went there. We seen all these niggas. I'm like, bro, we might have something here. You feel what I'm saying? No, and We wasn't even looking at KY. And I told CP then, I'm like, yo, listen, you can throw. You are a quarterback in this league. You're not a corner. You're too small. Niggas is going to keep throwing. This one, Joel was in there. And I'm like, you can't play corner for us, but you can fucking play quarterback because your ability to run is going to murder people. I ain't going to hold you. CP first came in here. I said, that's baby moon. If they molded him to be like, not be like moon, but play like similar to moon, CP would have went crazy. And it did. And it did. You feel what I'm saying? But. Look, it, it, I just had to make sure. I don't like doing lives and shit like that, but I want to make sure we set the record straight. And, you know, I talked to Ryan. He's going to throw some tight end shit up because tight ends don't get enough love in this league, man. <laughs> Joker has something to say to the commentators up there. Big Rob, Matt Ryan, and Corey Hammond. Nothing bad, but you know. You know what I'm saying? And and we showed people the last two weeks where it's it's not. We really trying to play. We really out here. I expect the commentators to start giving more respect. Rob has already started it. So I'm hoping that we move forward with respect because, you know, we're trying to build something here. And then when every time you watch the animal game, the commentary is always clowning and, and, and making fun. How can we build or get people to come in? Throw some criticisms out. Like, hey, look, if they had a number one receiver, maybe they could do A, B, and C. And then motherfucker watch the game. Like, yo, I could be that number one receiver for them. Let me go to the animal. But now when all you're hearing is jokes and laughing, niggas take us for a joke. So they don't want to even try. You feel what I'm saying? And it puts us in a bad spot, which I think we got over through Huff. I won't hold you. And we use that to recruit. And we're going to continue to recruit. We're going to get better, man. I think we are a top three team in the East, if you ask me. I mean, we still got a little bit more to prove. But we're going we're gonna to see, man. We got, some, we got some shit coming. And we ain't even have – we wasn't – I mean, everybody said it wasn't fully stacked. But we ain't had no running backs in the U game. I mean, it might have helped us out because, I mean, their strength is they D-line, right? Might have helped us out not to have a running back and try to run the ball a lot. But our quarterbacks is – they fucking running backs. If you ask me, they could run the ball just as good as any running back in this league, man. Yeah, ladies and gents, there you have it, my podcast. I'm going to have a lot more going on. I'm going to have a lot more uh, to talk about and a lot 
of different visuals. You probably might not understand now, but you will next podcast. Tune in the next podcast. We'll be talking about the U versus BIC and Buzz versus Snow Tribe. Got two special guests with me that's going to come talk about it. One of them is Joker. The other one you'll find out. See you soon.